Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn about Software Development Lifecycle SDLC. What is SDLC? SDLC represents the process of developing a software. It consists of planning and analysis, design, development, testing, deployment and maintenance phases. Why we need SDLC? SDLC helps for making systematic development of a software product and it also helps us for project tracking and control. It decreases the project risk and overheads. It increases visibility of project execution steps to stakeholders. It makes strong client relationships. How to implement SDLC? We can implement SDLC by following six phases let us discuss each phase number one planning and requirement analysis this phase is crucial to start stlc process business analyst product owner project managers will have a meeting with client and gather all information once the requirement analysis is done the software requirement specification document will be created and get them accepted from the stakeholders Planning for the quality assurance requirements and identification of the risk associated with the projects also done in this phase. Number 2. Design In this phase, the system and software design documents are prepared as per the SRS document. There are two types of design documents developed in this phase. High level design document that is HLD and low level design document that is LLD. In this HLD, Complete architecture diagrams along with the technology details will be available. It describes the data flow, flowcharts, etc. Now LLD. It defines the actual logic for each and every component of the system. Database tables, type and size, etc. Class diagrams with all the methods and relations between classes will cover under this. Number 3. Development. In this development phase, the actual coding development starts as per the design documents and one round of unit testing will be done by developers. Number 4. Testing When the developers complete the coding, it will be deployed in the testing environment. Testers refers SRS document to make sure that the software is as per the customer standard. During this phase, QA and testing team may find some bugs or errors which they assign to developers to fix the defects. The development team fixes the bug and send back to QAR testing team for retest. This process continues until the software is bug free or stable. During this stage, testers will do unit testing, integration testing, system testing and functionality testing as per the business requirement. Once they complete above all tests, then they send for UAT. UAT means user acceptance test. User acceptance testing also known as beta or end user testing. It is defined as testing the software by the user or client to determine whether it can be accepted or not. Number 5. Deployment. Once UAT done and software found with no bugs or errors, then it is deployed in production environment. Number 6 operations and maintenance operations and maintenance of the product that is if any issues comes up needs to be fixed or any enhancement is required is to be done by the developers now let's conclude number one senior management will understand the client project scope and collect all the requirements number two design documents will be created based on the requirements collected from the client Number 3. Coding will be done as per the design documents. Number 4. Once coding completes, testing team will do testing and sends for UAT. Number 5. On receipt of UAT, software will be deployed to production and it will go to live. Number 6. Once after successful deployment, operation team will do maintenance activities. Hope this information may be useful for you. Please like and share. 
and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching